Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage Channel. The DTC P2651 pertains to an issue with the rocker arm oil pressure switch B in Bank 1 of the Honda Accord produced between the years 2012 and 2017. This diagnostic trouble code indicates that the performance or function of this switch is stuck off, thereby compromising the variable cylinder management VCM system's ability to operate correctly. The rocker arm oil pressure switch's primary role is to detect oil pressure levels in the hydraulic circuit that governs the VTEC system activation, which improves engine efficiency and performance by managing cylinder activation. When there is a discrepancy between the commanded pressure from the powertrain control module, PCM, and the actual pressure as sensed by the rocker arm oil pressure switch, the PCM registers a fault, leading to the setting of DTC P2651. The switch itself is located downstream of the rocker arm oil control solenoid B, specifically on bank one, and is integral to the effective functioning of the VCM system. The VCM system plays a crucial role in optimizing fuel efficiency and emissions, making this DTC critical for vehicle performance. In conclusion, DTC P2651 is an indication of a malfunction within the rocker arm oil pressure switch B and its performance in relation to the VCM system in the Honda Accord 2012 to 2017. Effective troubleshooting involves understanding the roles of the affected components and following a methodical diagnostic approach to identify and resolve the issue. The symptoms associated with this DTC can greatly impact vehicle performance, making prompt diagnosis and repair essential. Regular maintenance practices, such as changing the engine oil and monitoring operating conditions, can assist in preventing such issues from reoccurring. By adhering to these guidelines, vehicle owners can optimize their Honda Accord's performance, enhancing the longevity and efficiency of the engine. The DTC P2651 primarily affects two critical components, the rocker arm oil pressure switch B, Bank 1, and the rocker arm oil control solenoid B, Bank 1. The rocker arm oil pressure switch B is responsible for sensing the oil pressure in the hydraulic circuit used by the VCM system and is essential for its operation. If the switch indicates a lack of pressure while the PCM commands that it should be present, a discrepancy occurs and the error code is set. The rocker arm oil control solenoid B activates to adjust the oil flow, thus affecting the oil pressure measured by the switch. The powertrain control module, PCM, utilizes this data to determine whether the engine is in low versus high VTEC range or if it needs to pause certain cylinders to optimize performance. This monitoring process occurs in the engine with the rocker arm oil components located along the valve train. Thus, both the accuracy of the rocker arm oil pressure switch B and the functionality of the rocker arm oil control solenoid B are crucial for maintaining the desired engine performance and efficiency. Understanding the potential causes of DTC P2651 is essential for effective troubleshooting. The first and often most common cause is a stuck rocker arm oil control solenoid B, Bank 1. If this solenoid fails to actuate, it will prevent proper oil flow, thereby affecting pressure readings and consequently triggering the DTC. Another possible cause might be an open VCMSW line, which can disconnect the communication pathway between the rocker arm oil pressure switch and the PCM, thus leading to a malfunction in monitoring. Additionally, a failure in the rocker arm oil control valve itself might contribute to the issue. If this component is faulty, it won't adequately manage the oil flow, leading to incorrect pressure readings. Lastly, clogged passages in the oilway can restrict flow and pressure, resulting in conditions that mimic a sensor fault. 
identifying these causes accurately can guide the repair process and help restore proper VCM function. Symptoms of DTC P2651 may broadly affect vehicle operation, with some of the most notable being the illumination of the check engine light, CEL. When DTC P2651 is set, the PCM detects a fault within the rocker arm oil pressure system, prompting the CEL to alert the driver. Furthermore, reduced engine efficiency is likely, especially during acceleration and while driving under load, due to improper function of the VCM. This could manifest as sluggish performance or unresponsiveness while the vehicle is in motion. Something essential to notice particularly during highway driving or while attempting to accelerate quickly. Increased fuel consumption may also occur, driven by inefficiencies caused by the inability to manage the engine's operation accurately, leading to potentially lowered fuel economy. Awareness of these symptoms is vital, as they not only indicate the presence of DTC P2651, but also outline possible broader issues with engine performance. The first step in troubleshooting DTC P2651 involves starting the engine and holding the engine speed at 3,000 revolutions per minute RPM without any load. This action is critical as it allows the engine to stabilize and reach optimal operating conditions needed for accurate diagnostic readings. The goal here is to run the engine until the radiator fan activates. This typically indicates that the engine is operating at proper temperatures and conditions. The exact monitoring of RPM during this step is crucial, as it enables the PCM to perform necessary checks for the rocker arm oil control system and its associated outputs. Maintaining the proper RPM ensures that the oil circulates adequately within the engine. Preparing the hydraulic VTEC system for subsequent diagnostic evaluations that will follow in the troubleshooting process. The second step requires letting the engine idle for a minimum of four seconds after holding it at 3000 RPM. This idling period is essential for enabling the system to achieve a stable operational state where sensor readings, such as oil pressure, can be accurately assessed by the PCM. During this time, the rocker arm oil pressure switch B will relay the current oil pressure signals back to the PCM, establishing whether they align with commanded values. Any discrepancy logged during this idling period can lead to validation of the failure indicated by DTC P2651. Ensuring that this step is meticulously executed allows for an accurate flow of diagnostic data which is crucial for diagnosing any underlying issues related to oil flow or sensor functionality in the hydraulic VTEC system. The third step in the troubleshooting process is to drive the vehicle on a flat road at a steady speed of 12 miles per hour MPH or more while maintaining an engine speed between 1,250 and 3,300 RPM for at least four seconds. This step allows for real-time assessment of system functionality under actual driving conditions. Operating the vehicle at this speed and RPM range will engage the rocker arm oil control solenoid B and test its efficacy in managing oil pressure to the rocker arm oil pressure switch B. The four second duration is critical for the PCM to gather enough data regarding oil pressure conditions and compare those to the previously established thresholds. It is essential to follow local traffic regulations and ensure a safe environment while conducting this test to obtain the most reliable results without compromising safety. The final repair verification is a crucial step in ensuring that the issue has been resolved after performing the necessary repairs associated with DTC P2651. After all work is completed, it's essential to clear the DTC from the PCM using a scan tool 
to verify if the repair was successful. Following the code clearance, conduct a road test to confirm that the vehicle operates smoothly without the check engine light illuminating following normal driving conditions. If the DTC does not return after this comprehensive verification process, it provides a strong indication that the repairs related to the rocker arm oil pressure system were indeed effective. This verification step should not be overlooked as it ensures that the repair not only removed the fault code, but also restored the engine performance to an optimal state and that no additional issues have surfaced during testing. Preventive maintenance plays a critical role in avoiding reoccurrence of DTC P2651 and related issues. One effective preventive measure is ensuring regular oil changes, as fresh oil maintains proper viscosity and flow through the rocker arm oil control and pressure systems. This practice helps prevent any potential clogging in oil passages that could lead to a lack of pressure and trigger future fault codes. Additionally, consistently monitoring the engine coolant temperature is vital because excessive heat may cause oil degradation, which can adversely affect the hydraulic system controlling the rocker arms. Performing periodic inspections of the rocker arm oil components and VCM system allows technicians to identify any problems early, decreasing the likelihood of system failures that result in engine performance issues. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.